welcome back to my channel how to cook and today we're making vegetable stew snapper fish and shrimp recipe fast easy and simple be sure you subscribe goody and turn your post notifications so you won't miss any of this upload you ready for cook come on let's cook Okay, goodies, so we have our snapper fish here that has been sliced and washed with salt, lemon juice, and vinegar. Make sure you say your fish nice and clean before you season, of course. This is the, um, the size that I choose to have the fish market cut by fish for me. And I did put the head away to make a fish head soup recipe. All right, so we also have some shrimp here, and I'm using tiger shrimp. The shrimp has already be, been deveined, so make sure so your, your shrimp also nice and clean, okay? I'm going to keep the tail part of the shrimp on the easy access eating. But yeah, everything nice and clean. And we're going to season up this fish and this shrimp very fast, very easy and very simple. Um, with simple ingredients that you or might already have around your kitchen, okay? Now what we're going to add first and foremost is some salt for added flavor here. I'm going to turn them on the other side and just do the salt as usual. And I did add some salt to the shrimp because I'm trying to make this as fast as possible. Then I'm going to use some white pepper, okay? Um, you have the black pepper and you have the white pepper. I did buy the white pepper in the farmer's market. Um, today we are going to use the white pepper for the fish, okay? Um, and we're just going to add just a tad bit of that. That is what the white pepper looks like, as you can see. It has a more mellow and not such a harsh flavor on your food. But yeah white pepper it is today and of course I'm going to turn my fish around on the opposite side and season accordingly that is it we're not gonna put nothing else on it now as far as your veggies are concerned because we are making vegetable stew fish and shrimp recipe um, we have lots of veggies here okay and of course you could substitute my vegetables of choice here now, as you can see, we have um, scallion and thyme. Um, we do have bell peppers. I'm using green and red and different colors. You can always substitute that. But whatever you do for the stew recipe, you don't want to forget your thyme. Now, if you don't want to use um, thyme, this fresh thyme here, you could use dry thyme. You could use powder thyme. But just be sure that you have your bell peppers. And of course, again, I'm using orange, red, green, and yellow. All of the colors of the peppers, okay? And then we definitely have some um, garlic here. I'm using garlic cloves today. Um, I usually use um, chopped garlic just to make life easier and simple. But we're going to use um, the garlic cloves. And we're going to add some carrots to it. And I did slice my carrots very thin. We're going to add onions and celery as well. And as you can see, I did slice those really thin as well. And I'm going to add potatoes to it. The potatoes is going to give it a nice little charisma. To the recipe I did um, slice it are really really not very thick or not very thin just perfectly okay uh, as well as the onions now to give it a nice little color and the tomato taste I'm going to be using a can of stewed tomatoes know that you could always use fresh tomatoes of your choice and uh, when I'm doing this recipe I always like to use the baby tomatoes because they're usually very sweet and you want to have that little sweet taste to the recipe right now moving right along we're going to start cooking so in a pan I did go in and add some um, extra virgin olive oil um, you could always substitute out that extra virgin olive oil now I'm placing my my fish in now for some of you, you might ask me do you have to use sliced fish knowing I've used sliced fish you can use whatever kind of fish that you want to use 
I just chose to use this kind of a fish and sliced it up okay now as you can see I'm not like overcooking the fish you don't want to do that because fish cooks very fast I'm just doing something to the outer part of the fish before I add it into the stew that's it I'm not looking for color I'm just looking for texture okay it does harden the fish a little bit before you add it to the stew so you want to go ahead and do this maybe I say for four minutes at the most and you take that fish out okay now in the same pan um, it has the fish flavor we want the, the shrimp to have added flavor apart from the flip shrimp flavor so we add the tiger shrimp in and of course you could always substitute out the tiger shrimp for any other shrimp that you like to use okay I say give that shrimp maybe about a minute and a half a minute and a half pin on medium eats um, it's has a beautiful color to it just turn it on the opposite side and give it another minute and a half okay so you want to cook this shrimp over only for three minutes and then you're going to set them aside because it's going to finish cooking once you add it into the stew so you don't want to overcook it the only thing the only reason why i did it this way is because i want the color the color y'all the color on top of the stew all right so now we're going to go ahead and take them out of the pan here now could it be sure that you're subscribed to the channel if you're not don't just watch me cooking y'all go ahead and hit that subscribe and share with all your friends and family now in the pan you want to add a stick of butter and I did use those garlic cloves that I showed you earlier and then all I'm doing here is melting everything together after everything is melted then you go in and add the can of the stewed tomato if that is what you want to do if this is not what you want to do you just had fresh tomatoes cut up the fresh tomatoes and put them in and then you go in and add the vegetables all the vegetables of choice and you can add more vegetables that you like in your kitchen and everybody likes celery and, and all them thing that just go ahead and add your vegetables of choice that it is what it looks like now you want to give it flavor so we're adding some all-purpose seasoning here and then we're going to add some garlic powder, onion powder. Then you want to add some salt for added flavor. Then we're going to add, um, no, we did add so, a different season earlier. I think that was fish seasoning, paprika, um, and every, you know what? I'm going to write everything down below, but just add some celery and parsley flakes. I'm using dried ones. You can definitely use fresh if you'd like. Now I'm going to add some dried pepper flakes because I want to be a little bit tangy. But you could add, add pepper, add your paprika, add a little bit of chili powder. I did add some pimento seeds to it. Just a few, not a lot. Or you could add the powder and that is it. And again, goody, I will list everything that I use for the recipe down in the description part of this video. Now be sure that you give it a nice little taste to make sure that it is the flavor. Your taste buds like what you have added to it. And of course you could substitute some of the seasons that I had it here. I covered it up, give it about, I'd say maybe 15 minutes. I went back at a medium heat and this is what we have, okay? As you can see, everything is coming together nicely. Um, the smell is amazing. The potatoes are cooked, but not overly cooked. And this is exactly what you want to have. Now it's time to add in the fish, y'all. So the fish is going to finish cooking into the stew, all right? So add your fish in, just like so. And again, with your fire at a medium heat. Now, after you've added in the fish, just be sure that you kind of get that good sauce all over the fish. Make sure that your thing is nicely filled with flavor, bottom and top. That looks oh so good, oh so good. Again, good to be sure that you're subscribed. My upper remind on you know, make sure to subscribe and not just subscribing, but turning the post notification on. Now I covered it up and now another, uh, I'll say another five to 10 minutes, five to 10 minutes at the same medium eat. And when I came back, it was done. But 
we want to give the gravy the gravy a little bit more thickener so what I did I added some about a teaspoon of um, cornstarch add a little bit of water to it then add it into the gravy and that was what made it nice and rich okay don't don't add too much cornstarch though because you don't want to remove the flavor now then i went in and add the fish on top because everything is all done now we just want that trim to finish cook for another three minutes or so and uh, because if you cook it overcook it it's going to get tough and rubbery um allow that cornstarch to cook within that three minutes process and then we are good to go we are good to go why not sprinkle a little bit more of that dried parsley on it and again you could use fresh parsley if you want oregano or whatever you want to add and I did go in and add a little bit of the pepper sauce because husband requested that he wanted to add some pepper sauce to it cover it up shaboom 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 shabam it was done that is what we had and it was amazing that's it y'all I'm gonna try to bring you guys um, as much videos as I can because of the holiday I'm trying to do vlog mess y'all so you'll see a little bit of videos here and there please thank you um, so much for watching thank you for your love and support um, share the video share the recipe with friends and family and yeah that's it y'all I will see you in my next one okay just remember to be safe out there in this holiday season I'll see you later stay blessed stay true see you later walk good Thank you.